Okay, so if you have purchased a whole collection of alphabet collection of designs, um, you might want to add it to your keyboard collections in one go. Um, I have done a video on how to add one letter at a time or to edit um, keyboard collections in embroidery canvas, but if you've got a whole lot of collections that you want to um, map in one go, it's much quicker to do it in, in, in embroidery library. So here I am in embroidery library. Now what you need to do is you need to save your design collection. I'll just um, decrease that and decrease that. Okay, save your design collection somewhere on your computer and know where it is. And then you need to, in embroidery library, you need to navigate to where you've got that collection. Um, I've got this one I downloaded for free, so it's not the prettiest alphabet, but it'll do for the demonstration. So once you've navigated in your navigation pane here to where your alphabet is, now it may be zipped up. So if I expand this out, it mine came as a zipped file. So before you do anything, you need to unzip it. So um, go back to File Explorer and unzip it in File Explorer. And then you should have a copy of it that's not zipped, which is this one here. Um, then there is there may be various formats come with that um, design collection. So in this case, I have got a separate folder for PEZ, PEZ copy. Um, they'll all be machine files, so you can't bring in an all... Uh, there are some people who sell fonts that can be imported to some softwares that are um, all-in-one designs, but that's not possible in Benina. But we can map all those um, machine file design collections that are available, and there's lots of beautiful ones that are available on the internet or you might create your own. So I'm going to open the file for PEZ. Um, and then this is in subfolders. So I could just highlight the PEZ designs and they'll all be there. The thing is with the keyboard mapping, in order for them to map correctly to the um, keyboard, your designs need to be in the right order and also in the um, and named correctly. So you can see this is an A PES, and if I go down to the capital A, there it's also called A PES, but with a capital A. Um, but if I go to my keyboard mapping, because this is what you need to do next, is you go to your keyboard mapping Docker, and you can see that the first character in the mapping is your exclamation mark and then um, inverted commas and then a hash and so I would need to put if I was going to use the whole collection I would need to put all my designs in this order and then after those it comes down to after the characters it comes down to numbers and then I'm, actu I'm actually in a collection here um, so I will have to change that later, but then it starts with the capital letters and then it goes on to the brackets, etc. So your folder needs to be ordered and named correctly. So a capital O for the O or uh, the number zero for the zero, a, a lowercase z for z and so forth. In this case, it's going to be easier for me because they've actually divided them up to just load my different folders one at a time um, because we do have um, a section here where we're going to map the selected two and we can decide whether we want to map them to the capital letters or the lowercase or the numbers. Um, characters I found I had to more or less do individually because they're scattered in order and it's quicker just to do them individually. But let's have a look at doing all the capitals. So I'm going to click on the capitals folder and I've got all my capitals showing. Now I'm going to click on my new button in the keyboard design collection to create a new design, a new collection, sorry. And you'll get a dialogue open up here. 
Now, the first thing you need to do is name it. Um, and I've obviously done this before, so it's saying capitals too. It will, by default, take the name from the folder. So if you don't want that name, you can type over that. So I'm just going to type keyboard test. Okay. So um, then the next section says reference height now you must create a reference height it won't let you go any further without that they suggest that you use a capital letter and in particular the capital M apparently the capital M is pretty much the tallest capital letter or something so it, um, that will work for most fonts as being your reference height so you can choose a different letter if you so desire but um that's what they're suggesting so i can't i don't know what the height the letter m was but i can select it and use it and the software will tell me what the height is and that's the quickest way but i need to cancel out of this and start again to do that so it's important if you know in advance you can do this in advance so select the letter m and then click on new and give it its name and now that new selection because M was selected is available so I can click on that and it will automatically put the height of the capital M there and show it up here I usually leave the character spacing as by default um, but depending on the font you're using you may want to play around with that the recommended height range is not you can put one in if you like but you don't have to um, so depending on your font and the stitch type used so if it's a satin stitch obviously the range of um, sizing will be different um, generally speaking with machine files 10 percent of size range is about all you can manage without um, distorting the letters but you can try out resizing them just in embroidery canvas and see if it's successful and if so you can stretch the resizing a bit I'm just going to leave that blank um, and I'm going to go OK now I need to select the whole collection before I can tell it where I want to map it to so I'm going to select capital A it's a bit hard to see because of that black background but it has got a blue box around it I'm going to hold my shift key down and select my Z which will select everything in between so I've got my whole design collect um, selected you can see that my new name is now showing here because I created the new um, collection and it's got the reference height and the character spacing and then it's saying where do I want to map these selected to you can just type something in here but they've already given me some options as well here so I'm just going to click on the capital A to Z and off it goes it's as easy as that now it will come up with a notice saying that these are not grade A files at the end of this and you just click OK you may create your own font um, that is grade A so you won't get this um, dialog come up but just click OK on that and as you can see all those capitals have been mapped now I could go ahead and say I want to do the characters next now it, this font only comes with two characters and as I said it's much easier to then map to the character you selected so I'm going to select the exclamation mark and I'm going to click on the exclamation mark over here you will see that the exclamation mark appears in here where you want to map to and then you just click on map and again it's not a grade A file so there's my exclamation mark then I could go and find the question mark wherever that might be and as you can see um, if I had these in, a, in the right order in the folder but which is quicker spending time ordering them all in the folder or just mapping them individually you have to decide what's going to be the quickest and most efficient way for you and map that to the question mark okay and then I could go on and do the numbers and the small letters and so on once all that's done you can then use them in your um, embroidery canvas so let's go through to embroidery canvas and I'll get a new design and I'll just turn 
off the grid for the moment. And when I go to my lettering folder and I right click on the lettering, I'll leave that there actually. Um, you can see we can choose keyboard design collection here as the only ones we want to show. But it, and here they are showing. It does show the um, default one there, but in your drop down menu, if you've chosen keyboard design collection, only your keyboard design collections will show here, so it's a lot quicker to find it. There's my keyboard test, so I can choose that font and then I can type in and I know I didn't put the lowercase in so I may as well just type in capital letters okay the word hello and I can go okay and then just click on my workspace and there is my word hello now this now behaves like lettering as well so it you can edit this like you would edit lettering. I don't know what all these jump stitch type things are. It's something to do with the font. So um, you may not get that if you have a better quality font. Um, but the important thing is that I can now edit this just like normal lettering. So if I select it and then go to the reshape tool, I've got all my lettering reshape options here. I can move individual letters. By selecting them and moving this little diamond I this also gives me my other handles so I can um, sorry I've got that one selected I've just made all the whole lot taller but um, there we are I can just make one letter taller um, and all the other features you can do with lettering which is another topic altogether you can also change in the object properties so if I right click on there and get the object properties up you can change the baselines you can justify you can do all these things you can um, the letter spacing is grayed out so obviously the spacing from the original choice was um, is overriding the letter spacing so you can't change that here but you could as I said you can move individual letters and use those handles to stretch it out etc um, but you can as I said change the baseline so if I select the arc and apply and I'll just close that as well there is my lettering on an arc and of course you can then in the object properties you can then oh sorry in the reshape tool you can then change the size of that circle to make the arc less pronounced etc so it makes your design collections your alphabet design collections a lot more useful um, and easier to use you don't have to then bring in each individual letter in and try and arrange it on your you know using your alignment tools um, sorry in your range using your yeah your alignment tools um, and then um, trying to get the lettering arranged as you want that's a lot of hard work but if you can keyboard map them you can use them just like lettering hope you enjoyed that thank you